We are now the world's third fattest nation and officially one of the laziest. Kia ora, I'm Buck Shelford. We have an issue with men's health in this country. And it's killing us. Brothers, it's got to stop. I know what it's like. I've been there. I've been the fat guy, the guy who got cancer. Kua mumona, kua mawiwi. But I'm not that guy anymore, and you don't have to be either. <laughs> That's what this is all about. Te kou wiki, te kou tāne, te kou au hauora kino. Hei takuhiri. Toro te takuta. See your doctor. Kia tika te kai. Eat better. Paka pakaritia to tinana. Get fit and save your life. Because it's not just about you. It's about your partner, your whanau, and your mukapuna. It's time to man up and face your death threat. Revel Butler doesn't look like a man with health problems. He's always been a fitness junkie. That is, until he turned 40. Six years later, Revel has packed on the weight. He is lethargic, constantly stressed, and like one in four New Zealanders, his cholesterol is through the roof. A death threat that could kill him. His wife, Zaylene, has lost many family members to heart disease, so she's turning to Buck as a last resort. Kia ora, Buck. Uh, ko Zaylene tēnei. Ahua māwiwi uh, takutāne ko Rev. Uh, he's also got exceptionally high cholesterol and somewhat overweight. So he karanga tēnei ki a koe, he inoi ki a koe, mō tō awhina ki a hau, uh, i te oranga o taku hoa tāne. Nga mihi ki a koe hoa, oia mai. After receiving Zaylene's call for help, Buck wastes no time heading for their home. So I got your um, your wire. Mm. Uh, what's happening? Mm. What's the rau? Well, tūtahi. Nga mihi ki a koe mō tō hara mai, ki konei hei awhina i a hau. Hai. Uh, well, Holland's upstairs. I don't know, uh, he doesn't know you're coming. And I just, yeah, I just need some help to get him to understand and listen, to take his health seriously, to stay away from that kino kai. Hi, hi. Um, uh, to actually embrace a new lifestyle. I'm happy to do it with him, but you know, I need him on board too. Kia ora. Kia ora Oh, kia ora, Rev. Kia ora, What's up? Oh, iwaia a hau kia buck, kei te hara mai. Fua. Hei awhina. I'm actually doing a, a program on Māori men's health, and I want to know if you want to come on board that. What, what, what's it all about? Zalian's told me your cholesterol is going out of this world. Mm. So uh, I believe that we can help you. And so, I'd like you to come on board this program. Hi, Tinoa Wanga Wanga Ahau, Mato Oranga. You know what I've been through with my own family. Lost my dad, mum, and my brother. I don't want to lose you too. I'm on. You're on? 100%. 100. With Revel agreeing to come on board the program, he looks back at how he got to be in such a state after being so fit for most of his life. Giving up smoking just. I packed on the weight like I've never been able to pack on before. Everyone was commenting on how much weight I'd put on. I couldn't control my cholesterol level, which, to be honest with you, it really pissed me off because I felt that I would have to change my life now that I'd, I had created this disorder. And I thought, what am I going to do to change my life to manage this that's not going to go away? Saline's worried about me being on her list of whanau she's lost. She's had to deal with a lot in, le in terms of losing Fano, and I understand from her what that impact I would have or any other other Fano members would have if she lost them early. And I just think, what if I wasn't there for my son at this stage in his life? What, what if I wasn't there for my wife at this stage in her life? And I don't like that thought. I don't like that thought at all. And this is part of the problem, Rebel's shocking compulsive habit of high salt and fat snacking. You've just eaten. I know, it's just... How dinner? What's that? Uh... Zaylene has been trying to get Revel to pay more attention to his health for as long as she can remember. Does Revel take his health seriously? Yes, I do. I don't think so. Uh, 
yes, he likes to exercise, but yes, he loves to eat. And that may have to change. First, an up-to-date cholesterol test. Then it's off to meet men's health specialist GP, Dr. Lance O'Sullivan. I'm going to have a listen to your heart, bro. Lance gives Revel a basic examination. He's relieved to find Revel's heart function appears normal. But it is his increasing weight, high blood pressure and out-of-control cholesterol which concerns Lance the most. Bro, mm. things are a little bit risky for you. And, um, you know, I want to have a chat about that today. I think you've got, you've got some areas to work on. Uh, your blood pressure's high. Mm. Uh, 150 over 100. Oh. Your cholesterol's high. Um, really high, eh? Revel and Zaylene know his cholesterol is an issue, but they don't really understand why. Lance explains the risks. LDL, bad cholesterol, can build up fat deposits in your arteries, choking blood flow or breaking off to cause clots and heart attacks. The most common causes of bad cholesterol are fatty diets and obesity, both factors Revel has in abundance. And one way Lance can ram home the death threat Revel's facing is to show him an analysis of his heart's age, factoring in his risks. And, um, I did a, a heart check using your blood pressure and your cholesterol. Revel is only 46, but his heart age, according to the test, comes as a huge shock. A check using your blood pressure and your cholesterol. Despite looking fit, Revel Butler's cholesterol level is hazardously high, putting his life in jeopardy. Dr. Lance O'Sullivan wants Rebel to really understand the death threat he faces, so he's showing him the difference between his heart age and his actual age. Your heart's about 10 years older than, than it should be. Sure. Yeah, so mm. instead of being 46, your heart's at 56. You know, which is a worry for me, because yeah. you're getting short-changed 10 years. Yeah, 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 and I want to claw that back. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's, that's, that's a move. That's scary. Mm. Well, a 36-year-old, please. Yeah, yeah. She <laughs> she young, young for that. Okay. <laughs> but that wasn't good news to hear at all, because, you know, the way I think I am isn't exactly the way I'm, I am, so... It's good to know, though. You know, that's one thing I'll take out of that, is it's better to know and do something about it than just pretend it's not there. So, we've got a lot to do. So the first step in Buck's attack on Rebel's cholesterol involves the first fitness test Rebel has had in decades. Dr. Grant Schofield and his analysis team quickly prepare Revel for his treadmill test. But will Revel's fears of being grossly unfit be confirmed? OK, we're ready to go, guys. Two and a half, let's go. Any dizziness? Chest pain? Shortness of breath? <laughs> He's icing it. As the test progresses, Grant gives Revel some good home truths about cholesterol. We used to think that um, eating cholesterol, things like eggs, changed your cholesterol. It turns out to be straight out wrong. And actually, it's really the simple carbs and the sugars that bang up those things the most. Well, well done, actually. Yeah. For someone in your age group, male in, in the 40s, you're about uh, in, in the 50th percentile, so you're about, about average. Okay. So that, I mean, in actual fact, that's reasonably good. I thought you handled that test really well. Mm. I think you could be you could be fitter. Yeah. Mum and I had the mahi, because I... Fitness, you know, I like fitness. Uh, what I'm all, the back part of this, I can, I can only keep running for a while, and what I'm eating is the problem. Mm. What I'm choosing to eat is the problem. It's time for Rebel to start diffusing his death threat. He arrives at the gym for his fitness action plan. Okay, guys, uh, you saw uh, Rebel Butler yesterday? Yep. What's wrong with him? Well, what I saw um, yesterday, Buck and, and Grant may have seen the same, was his blood pressure is a bit high, he's a young guy at 46, he's got a big puku, and he's got an incredibly high cholesterol, which, you know, all adds up to sort of not good news for a 46-year-old Māori guy. So he's got work he needs to do. Yeah, and, and part of that is, is helping manage his own stress. He's, he, he gets a bit stressed in his job. Yeah. Um, and I think that's probably the one thing we don't we overlook is that, yeah. that stress drives a whole lot of, of physiology and behaviours. All of a sudden, you're stressed out all morning. Yeah. Well, yeah, what, you, what your body then feels like is some fatty, salty or sugary food, preferably all three. So it's just making sure that he actually uh, looks after the dietary side of his yeah. life better, eh? Buck, Grant and Lance have agreed that short bursts of high-intensity exercise are the best way for Rebel to shed weight and increase fitness. This is high-intensity cardio. How are you feeling? Oh, 
Oh, oh, the pukenga. Well, poke the hoe, the oh. out of breath. Yeah, I know, I know. Hard to maintain, eh, you rev? Oh, oh, oh. The mahi, the oh, oh, oh. <laughs> So looking yeah. quite tight, loosen up. Move around, move around, man. It's up to you. You wouldn't knock over the grandmother the way you're hitting that blooming thing. <laughs> Come on, hit it. <laughs> okay, time. Good man. Start one. Awesome. How does that feel, bro? Feel on the quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, good. Out of breath? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. yeah, 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 it's all that. I think we've got it. Hit the spot. Hit the spot. Yeah, yeah. Today's mahi was, uh, wasn't what I was expecting. They've identified what I can manage, and the high intensity stuff is what works for me. So, all I've got to do now is, uh, like they said, hey, Timata, just start, get out there and start doing it. But food is the major issue still. Today's meeting with nutritionist Hedini Marshall is long overdue. With Revel keen to eat better, Hedini decides the best place to learn is the recycling bin. So what have we got going on in here? I think it's all the neighbours, not mine. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Cocoa Pops? They yeah. say to me, quick, easy to make. With a product like this, this is not such an ideal breakfast because what you want to have for breakfast is going to set you up for the rest of the day and this is going to give you a quick burst of energy. Might be tasty, but it's not going to last very long and then you're going to be hungry again. And there's just not a lot of goodness in here. What about this? <laughs> This stuff is so bad for our people, and there's just no denying that it's linked with obesity, tooth decay. So you're saying water? Yeah, water. There are so many different ways that we can treat ourselves, and this is not one of them. With his new eating plan already underway, Revel is feeling more positive than ever about getting back into the gym. I'm excited to be getting a personal trainer, because I know this is going to help me on my huarahi. Last one, everything you've got. Good stuff. So what I recommend for someone with pre-diabetes, high cholesterol, okay? exercise that pushes you. Mm. I mean, we can do weights, we can do running, we can do body weight, okay? and then obviously a mixture of diet as well, and that's what's going to help you out. Four weeks on, Revel has been feeling better than ever, but it seems he may have again become his own worst. Revel has been winning his battle with cholesterol, but junk food is a powerful enemy. One tough day at work, one stop at the takeaways, and it's all a disaster. I'll call you back. What the hell? Who my dinner? What the hell are you doing? I didn't even hear you come home. Well, I didn't think I had to blink and creep in because, look, what's this? What are you I was doing? Hungry. Oh, and you go to the store and get a cane instead of no, getting no, something out of the fridge? I've got all this mahi to do up north this weekend. I was running out of time, so I just thought I'd call him. I'm not having this. There's plenty of bloody healthy kai in the fridge. I don't want this in here. So it's out with the rubbish and in with Buck. Kia ora e hoa ko Zaylene tēnei. Oh, kei te ahu a riri a haui tēnei wā. Zaylene steps out to cool off, and Buck is there in no time, armed with a secret weapon. Zaylene and I did a recording in regards to how she feels about uh, you and, uh, you know, getting Māwiwi, so I want you to have a look at it. Kia ora tāku tau. Uh, ko tēnei he inoi ki a koe. I'm very upset about you coming off the kaupapa that we've both agreed to go through together. Moto oranga tene, kaupapa. This is for your health. Mota taua whanau hoki. This is for our family. You know I've lost many whanau members. And you know how that affects me and how it's affected my life losing them. And you know I still grieve for them today. I don't want to lose you too. I can't lose you. So please, please stick to the kaupapa. This is for us. It's for your entire family. Oh, you know, I love you. Uh, think about it seriously, please. Kia ora, Zay. Buck goes in search of Zaylene, leaving Rebel to digest her emotional plea. 
back on the coop up array. Okay. Hundred yep, percent. It's all about plans, and one major plan for their future is a new home. Well, pretty nice house, eh, Rev? Yeah, yeah, dream home. But these dreams, you know, just uh, the reality of it all. You know, not, you're not getting any younger, and basically, you want the next 30 years together in good mm -hmm. health. Okay, guys, let's go and see where the house sits. Cool. cool. And so the next day, Zaylin gets the builders out on site to really focus Rebel on the exciting future they have ahead. <laughs> guys, imagine three metres up from here, you'll be sitting on your deck, looking all the way out of the Coromandel. Cool. Beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah. Stunning. I think for me, because it's my tupuna whenua, the feeling of coming home, it's just such a buzz to actually realise that. Yeah. It actually starts cementing tatawa marina, isn't it? Mm. Hey, it cements our marriage. Because it's our first home our that first we all have actually brought together. Yeah, yeah. And realising the goals and here here. You know, we might be getting older, but we're feeling a lot more healthier mm. about every step we've taken. Another reason this new home is so important to them is its proximity to the marae. My wife, Zay, is no naitai. Uh, this is her marae. She has a lot to do with the marae, and as a ringa widow, that gives me an opportunity to come down to the marae also. It means that my wife and I get to do things together as husband and wife, and also as part of our iwi. And Rebel's commitment to his new fitness goals continues even at the marae, as he gets out to run the coastline. Rebel is at last breaking the habits of saturated fats and refined sugars. These days it's out with the fried chicken and in with lean meats, vegetables and fruit, and a hearty breakfast of rolled oats. So it's a new, improved Rebel who meets Buck a couple of weeks later to climb Mount Eden. Nami, so be here to mahi. It's been going good. I've been uh, getting into a, a routine, which I haven't done for a while. Uh, the hardest one was getting up at 5.30 in the morning to exercise. That's, uh, uh, I love my sleep. Since we last talked, uh, Rev, you know, uh, that last intervention when you'd done a bit of cheating on your kai? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So have you been back to the KFC since? Nah, Kyle, Kyle, since I saw you last, I've been good. I've thought about it, but, uh, nah, haven't, haven't done uh, a visit to the, to the store and... You don't miss it? No, 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 yeah, tikato, there's, uh... Now, the only reason I used to eat it because it used to be the emotions I was feeling at the time, but... Well, Rev, look at that view, mate. Aye. It's awesome, isn't it? It is, it is. It's Aye. great, great to be here. But at least I made it. Yeah, true. But the thing is, you want to be seeing this for the next 30, 40 years, eh? Aye. That's what you want. To mix up the exercise, Zaylene's bought paddle boards, and today it's Buck's turn to get on the walker. been on a board before just trying to get my balance Ooh. and uh, you know I lost it there for a while so I'm wet and so thing is you can't get any wetter can you? That's right. So okay, wet all mate. Hook in my ano. The fun's over. It's Rebel's final fitness test. It has been a long time since Rebel arrived here for his first treadmill experience but today he is hoping for a better showing. Walking into here today, I'm feeling pretty confident in the work I've done over the last uh, eight or so weeks. I know I've done it, and it'll be a chance to at least take the measurements to prove I've done it. Good, Rebel. <laughs> How are you? Training's good. Rebel knows what he's in for here. This is a tough test, one that will run him into the ground. We're doing what's the, called the multi-stage fitness test. You, you know it as the beep test. Yeah. Uh, it's going to really test your fitness. We're basically taking you till you can't make it any further, which is going to be your maximum. Go! The test begins, and Rebel knows it's going to hurt. Yep. It's pretty important that I do well today because I actually want to continue on with this yep. journey. So if I do well today, I know that what I've done works, and I'll keep on doing it. Yep. <laughs> Just ahead. Yep. Just ahead. On time. Yep. Behind. Get through the level. Get there, get there. Behind, go, you're gonna have to go. You're gonna have to go. Level eight. One more. Okay, you're out. Awesome. Level eight. 
Yeah, good job. That hurt, didn't it? Yep. I mean, out of everyone we've had, we've only had two guys that were even capable of putting on this. Okay. And you, you were double their score. So we've moved you up from the sort of bottom quarter of people to the 40th percentile, so that's a fabulous improvement. It is. Awesome. Yeah, it's really Isn't good. Because I wanted to come back here today and yeah. show I'd done something. Yeah, and you got your weight down as well. Really happy with the results. Everybody in the whanau has been getting on board, so I haven't been doing it alone, which is the best thing. I think what you've seen that Revel has done is he's attacked life and he's put his foot back on the accelerator and all of a sudden he's getting so much more out of it. That's the, that's the take for me. With the test results in, Lance briefs Buck on Revel's remarkable progress. You know, the weight loss that he's had, the committed effort that him and Zaylene have put into his health has paid dividends, Buck. And pai rawa tu te, te, te hauro tōma manawa. Aye. And I'm um, just going to have a look here and show that actually his heart age has improved dramatically. Over the next uh, year or two, hopefully he'll be back down to normal and uh, and basically he'll be living in his brand new home by then as well. And yep. that'll keep him up there for a long, long time. There's a bit of work to do on the section. After six months of hard work, Revel has lowered his high cholesterol and his heart age has dropped from 56 years to 48 years. Today's Buck's last visit, and he arrives with a gift to celebrate Revel's success. So, you have defused the death threat, and basically, you keep looking after yourself, you're going to live a long time. Mm. And uh, that's what this, this is all about, living longer for our moko, for our, our kids and our moko. We're grateful for this taonga, but the greatest gift you fellas have given us, you've given me back the health of my husband. There's no gift greater than that. Everything that I was feeling at the start of the, the program is just a memory now. I feel better walking around. I don't feel like I've got a tyre hanging around me. I know I've lost the weight because I had to buy new clothes. The whole experience is what I needed. It came around at the right time, and it's just put another component back in our lives. Kia kaha moto, moto whenua, moto mm. whare. Mm. Uh, kia kaha moto oranga. Hey, Mama.